Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 40 Days with Dietrich, our journey through the season of Lent. I want to remind you that for our readings, we are using A Year with Dietrich Bonhoeffer, daily meditations from his letters, his writings, and his sermons. Um, I just want to highlight this book every once in a while just to, just to remind us that I haven't actually done the legwork in terms of curating all these passages. Um, that has been done long before me, and it's in this compilation here. Today's passage is called Love Versus Hate. It is again taken from A Testament to Freedom. Bonhoeffer writes, How then does love conquer? By asking not how the enemy treats love, but only how Jesus treated it. The love for our enemies takes us along the way of the cross and into the community with the crucified. The more we are driven along this road, the more certain is the victory of love over the enemy's hatred. For then it is not the disciples' own love, but the love of Jesus Christ alone, who for the sake of his enemies went to the cross and prayed for them and hung there. In the face of the cross, the disciples realized that they too were his enemies and that he had overcome them by his love. It is this that opens the disciples' eyes and enables them to see their enemy as a brother or a sister. They know that they owe their very life to the one who, though he was their enemy, accepted them, who made them his neighbors and drew them into community with himself. The disciples can now perceive that even their enemies are the object of God's love. And they stand like themselves beneath the cross of Christ. I really like Bonhoeffer's articulation right at the beginning that when we think about the call to love, and particularly the call to love others, um, to love our enemies, that we don't think about how do they perceive love. Or how do they interact with love? Or how do they respond to love? The only, the question that we ask ourselves is how did Jesus treat love? And that leads us into a fundamentally different reflection. Um, because we begin to look at how Jesus treated others. And for Bonhoeffer, that has to lead you into a recognition or a reflection of how Jesus treated you one of the things that the Bible says, um, and it talks about, you know, while we were enemies, Christ died for us. Um, none of us are ever in a place where we can earn Jesus' love. And we always have to be reminded of that. The gift of love is a gift of grace. God loves us because God chooses to love us, not because we've earned it, not because we've proved ourselves lovable. Um, if, the criteria, if the criteria was proving ourselves, meeting some degree of holiness, uh, none of us would ever come close to meriting that. And so when we think about, well, how did Jesus treat others and how did treat Jesus treat us, we always find this this profound and lavish self-offering of love that makes its way to us. And when we recognize that, when we understand that, that has to change how we see other people. Because if the love of God makes its way to us, even though we haven't deserved it, and even though we haven't earned it, then we have to believe that the love of Jesus makes its way to others as well. And so the love of Jesus becomes a unifying thing. We recognize that the enemy is our brother or a sister. Um, and Jesus, you know, this is, the, this is the good Samaritan, right? The person who is fundamentally different than us who is the enemy, who is the other, who is the person we would step out of our way to avoid. They are actually united to us as a brother or a sister within the love of Jesus. 
And that has to change then how we view them. It's really hard to condemn someone if we recognize that we are united under the cross in the love of Jesus. It's really hard to disregard someone's humanity if we recognize that their humanity is held by the love of Jesus. And so this passage becomes, I think, a very, very profound passage or this reflection about the love of Jesus and how Jesus treated the love of others uh, becomes entirely transformative because it changes how we view ourselves. We are not, um, we are not the spiritual elite. We are not on the pinnacle of holiness. Um, and the fact of the matter is, as much as we might or we will recognize that there are enemies to us. There are people who see, or there are people that we see as completely other than us. We have to recognize that we are that person for others. Um, And so we are no different. We are all united. We are united in our brokenness. We are united in our inability to be perfect. We are united, as Bonhoeffer will will say in other places, we're united in our sufferings and in our hurts. Um, But here, profoundly, we are united under the cross because we stand as receivers of the divine love of Jesus that comes to us not because of earn, not because of merit, not because of perfection, but because solely that is who Jesus is. And so as followers of Jesus, may that be who we are as well. God bless you as you journey through your season of Lent, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.